Uh, like I told you guys, Coach and uh, Kelly have a, just an announcement they want to make. And I'm going to turn over to them, and then we'll do questions. And then, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll let Kelly go, and we can talk basketball. Well, you let me go and talk basketball with oh, her. Oh, I could talk, yeah. Well, you can stay actually. You want me to talk basketball? <laughs> Maybe you should <laughs> I know. Yeah, well, Believe me. Nice. You heard of those conversations at home, you'd hear about it. <laughs> uh, Why are you playing uh, zones out? Uh, <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you take out the high score? Or you scoring all the points. Why'd you take them out? That's what I always say. I'm sure we all go through this in our days. <laughs> no, we just wanted to uh, say well, our, our season opener is November 12th at home against Texas State. And actually the – First four games are part of Men Against Breast Cancer. It's a MTE event, uh, and we're trying to raise awareness, obviously, for cancer and cancer research. And and both of us had parents who passed away this summer, and we've been involved with Coaches versus Cancer over the years. And Kelly is most recently been involved with uh, Road to Recovery, driving cancer patients to their appointments. So they we can't drive themselves. so we said the first game mm -hmm. Sunday, November twelfth, that we are going to pledge a dollar for every person who attends the game and we hope that what do we see 50 59 we would love to sell that place out so we can donate as much as we can and and help and and, and our push to to raise awareness and raise funds obviously to to try to f eventually find a cure uh, for cancer so that's uh that's our pledge we're excited to do that among some of the other things we're doing but we thought it'd be a neat thing to do as far as the tournament with men against breast cancer being the name of the tournament and also our first game of the year and try to bring as many people into the into Clune Arena to see us play in that home opener and uh, also bring the awareness that we talked about. So coach, you mentioned it, so it was, it sounds like this is near and dear to your heart and to yours mm -hmm. as well, Kelly, if you guys could just, I don't know, share whatever thoughts you have. Oh. I don't know. Uh, cancer affects so many people. It could be a friend, a coworker, a family member, so we thought that if we could just help raise the awareness, um, help support the team at the same time, uh, together we can all make a difference. Something that we can bring the awareness about. There's different programs even people can volunteer for. If you're really not affected with it, you can volunteer, help those that are. And so we'd like to bring awareness to everybody, plus help support the team at the same time. I would echo that, and that's very well said. That's Thank you. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But that. we both did have family members. We never yeah. had any family members. Yeah. And then both this summer, my mother passed away and his father passed away. So it became, you know, we'd all, always helped with coaches versus cancer before, but then it became so much more personal. So now we'd like to raise the awareness and, and help those that need it. So, I, you know, when it hits home, it, because you see it around you, and if you're not involved or don't have it, uh, you know, obviously it's, it's, it's not good, but once it hits your family then it brings a whole new dimension to it and and what we can do to help so so we were thinking uh, this would be a good way to kick start the season and, and and try to do that and and hopefully we want to pass the word out and get as many people into clune arena as we can and uh get that place loud and then obviously we'll help on the other end, end as well so how did you come up with this idea um i don't know uh in the shower, I think get, I, all my ideas come up in the shower. I was in the shower one morning and and said, "How can we? How can we? Because uh, we have pink uniforms we're going to wear and and you know uh, some other things. And we're trying uh, to work with American Cancer Society and try to get as many local survivors as possible and have them come on the court during the halftime and announce their name and and, and do that. I know the NFL does, it, college football does, and things and then I said well we could do a little more too let's you know let's reach into our uh, pocketbook and put some money on this as well and and show how much uh, this means to us and, and do that. So Kelly you, you drive cancer? I do it's called Road to Recovery Program and you it's through the Denver office and I did a lot of training and then you you get with a program and they contact you and I drive patients to and from their appointments typically radiation or chemotherapy because they can't drive themselves. So it's a volunteer program. Mm -hmm. so kind of the same people over and over again? Over I, I have been, actually, and I get very close to the people. So I have been, you know, driving the same people. And it's typically people up in my area here, up at, on this end of town. But there's probably about maybe 20, 25 people in the Colorado Springs area that volunteer for this program. And so we typically we, we meet all of the requirements, all the people that need the rides. We meet those each time. So, yeah. And that was one of the challenges. It's, for my dad, you know, with the treatments he had to go, my mother, my mom didn't drive, doesn't drive, and 
you know, you run out of family members or neighbors and, you know, it's, it's a big commitment, especially when you're going daily. And, and the people are going probably every day. Yeah. And it's a you relief know, to the families yeah. when you know you have that ride set and, mm-hmm. and your family member will be getting safely to the hospital and back. And, uh, and usually it's not a great ride, you know, because you're going in for not a good reason and the treatment and sometimes the treatment puts you a little bit off as well. But I think it's really important. And we heard about a couple of years ago, correct? Right. Did I did. And, then, mm-hmm. yeah. and I just started volunteering for it a couple of months ago. I was too busy with my own mom to help, but now I can help out. So, yeah. Where, where does your mom live? My mom was in Pennsylvania. We brought so I was up, flying yeah. back and forth all the time to help her. And so since she passed away now... You know, I'm not taking my time to travel back. So that's when I got, I had the program all, I wanted to do it, and I just didn't volunteer because I don't want to volunteer for something, not be able to commit when I should. So I did it several months ago after she passed. Yeah. What is that experience like when you know you're doing something that's helpful to someone through a time that's so difficult for them as well? What's that experience like for you personally? Well, it's great, you know, just to be able, because you wouldn't think that that would be a service that would be provided. Then once you do, you know, because I was having a hard time getting rides for my mom back and forth to different places because she couldn't drive. So, and the people, they're so appreciative. They just appreciate it so, so much. I, I'm very close with the, the people I've been with. I'm talking all about the games and what we do. And, you know, they're big Air Force fans, most of them, because they live in this area. So it's very interesting. And they're so appreciative. Yeah. And I think it's such a big relief on, release, relief on the family knowing that your right. family member who needs the, the treatment has a ride. Because that was always a bothersome for me because, you know, up until that morning, who's taking you? You know, who's picking How you How long is it going to last? Gonna I go and sit and you sit and you wait yeah. until they're done or you can go run uh-huh. an errand or something and come back. So, And I think just mm-hmm. having somebody there that has a... Uh, you know, someone will listen to you and talk about some things, maybe even take your mind off of why you're going for treatment is, is, is a big plus. Mm-hmm.